good afternoon, folks. Uh, I'm out here at Lee Reynolds Farm in central Alabama, and I want to talk about Rizalon and Foxtail. I'm out here in a field, one of his fields right now was uh, a field he had some horses in, and he hasn't uh, done anything to it. It's not been cut for hay, and it's not being grazed, and, and you can see all the seed heads that are out here um, growing up in this area right now. This field right here is, in fact, an annual foxtail. All right, we're now at another section of Mr. Lee's farm, and uh, in a different pasture up closer to the highway, and I'm walking through the field, and hopefully you can see um, the amount of foxtail he has right here in this little strip. And this foxtail uh, is, in fact, not root foxtail, which is a perennial. It does have small little rhizomes, which, uh, which I'll show you in just a few minutes. But you can see how this is uh, spread out here and a little bit behind me. We felt that Resilon would have a really, really good fit as far as annual grass control uh, in particular. So Resilon is a pre-emergent herbicide um, that's been developed over the last few years. On our label, we recommend uh, three ounces uh, in February for foxtails and then um, we also tell people if, you, if foxtail is your main target weed, then you really need to come back after you get your first cutting off and put on an additional three ounces. Now, <clears throat> we've gotten uh, some calls this year about Resilon not controlling foxtail, and uh, invariably when we go out and look at it, we find that what they have is not an annual foxtail species such as yellow foxtail, but it is in fact not root foxtail, which is a, is a perennial species. Let's take a look at some of the roots uh, of the two different species that I've, that I've talked about today. And just let me show you a little bit of the difference on those um, so that you can have an idea of what we're dealing with. So what I have here, if I can get it all in the picture, um, this is the not root foxtail plant. And as you can see, I've got a pretty big specimen here and this, this field hasn't been mowed in about two months. Um, and the farmer got behind a little bit here with all the rain we've had here in Alabama, and so he's, he's just a little bit behind on cutting. So that's why these plants have gotten so large with such a big seed head on them. But you can see if you just saw this in the field, um, you would think that it was, you know, just a regular uh, a yellow foxtail or an annual foxtail if you didn't, if you had never heard of the nut root. But what you can do more than anything else is dig the roots up, dig your clump up, and knock all the dirt off of it. And what you will see are these little uh, little knotty rhizomes right here. And I'll just go ahead and pull this one off and maybe you can see that. Um, you can see how it's just a little bitty thing on this particular one. Um, but anyway, that's what allows this thing to come back year after year. It's not coming from seed primarily. Uh, it does come from seed, but it will also regrow from, uh, from these little knotty rhizomes. Now, if you dig the plant up, and I've dug one up here from the, the first location that we were at, and you see you knock all the dirt off of that plant and you don't see those, well then you know that you've got one of the annuals. And typically it could be giant foxtail, yellow, or green. But, um, but that's what you're gonna see is just a fibrous root system. You don't see any of those rhizomes in this particular clump. And so, and so that's really the, the thing that you look for to distinguish if you're not sure is to go out and dig a few plants up and look for those rhizomes. And if you see those rhizomes, you'll know you've got knot root. Now, as I said, this is a perennial and you will typically see um, the seed heads on these forming by June. You'll see the seed heads pop up in your field. And so, um, you know, that's a good indicator because typically you won't see things like yellow until a little bit later in the summer. That's not a, you know, that's just a general rule of thumb. That's not an absolute, uh, but that's generally what you'll see. So the question is, if you see the, these seed heads in your field and you have used Resilon, that's probably a good indication that you do have the knot root because again, Resilon is a pre-emergence herbicide. It's not gonna control a perennial species. So we're not controlling these clumps that are coming back from the rhizomes, but we do do a pretty good job on it coming back from seed when it's coming back from these little knotty rhizomes. So you do have to have a, a post product that you were able to use. And um, I think it's safe to say that if you can control the knot root, you're gonna control um, uh, the annual foxtail. But Resilon has to be part uh, of that program because it does, as I said, spread by seed. And so if you don't have that Resilon program in place, you're just gonna get more and more of those plants. 